Today is March 15th, 2021, and I wanted to put a couple thoughts down. It's a little after midnight right now, so just get them down before I go to bed. A um, couple of questions that I wrote down and then wrote down answers to, so I'm going to read off a couple. What inspired me to want to run? Uh, truth be told, just wanted to make a difference, just wanted to be involved. Uh, politics is one of those things to where it's going to happen. Uh, people are going to be making decisions about our lives, yours and mine and everyone else's. And you have to be involved in some way or another, whether it's just by voting or getting more deeply involved, whether it's volunteering and supporting somebody you believe in or trying to do what I'm trying to do, which is get all the way involved to be one of the people making those decisions. Um, they're going to affect us one way or the other. You might as well try to have your seat at the table as well. Uh, who inspires me? There really are no politicians that inspire me to want to run to say, yes, that's my hero or anything like that. But the ones that I respect are the ones that stand for something, you know, accept the consequences for it. You know, I do respect that. And that's people like Bernie Sanders, John McCain, uh, like Elijah Cummings, just people that, okay, this is what I stand for, period. You know, if you don't like it, I understand we can agree or disagree, but I'm not going to be shifting with the winds. John McCain did that a little bit, so he doesn't get full credit. But at the end of the day, he is someone that I believe stood for what he stood for. Um, plenty of other politicians that I'm not going to get to names right now, but, you know, they disgust me, especially in the Trump era of just trying to literally just get a seat at the table and that's all they cared about and threw out their own convictions because they wanted to stay with the in crowd that I don't have any care for. So obviously the opposite of that is what I want to be. And again, win or lose, at least have my voice heard. Um, if people don't respond to what I'm trying to say, so be it. Um, hopefully I'll get some support of just a few people and say, hey, we appreciate you trying to run and put some of this stuff out there to at least get a conversation going. Some of it, that's the best I can hope for. Uh, what else? What are my fears about running? Honestly, getting my family involved. Um, cause this is a decision that I'm making and depending on how things go, they would be a part of it, you know, despite how they may feel about it, you know, people would be asking them questions, uh, about me and about themselves, about my past, their past, you know, like I said, I'm a single father. Um, I am a divorced man. Uh, me and Max's wife, we have a good relationship. You know, we're co-parenting. We're actually friends. We have a good, healthy relationship, but she would not appreciate a bunch of unwanted attention. So that's something I have to consider as well, as well as, again, my young daughter. I don't know how this would affect her. You know, she might like some of the attention because she's a young child and it could be fun, but things could easily turn and it would not be fun for her. So I got to keep that in mind as well. What fears do I have that motivate me to run? Um, actually, the apathy of everyone seems to be growing. I do feel like there's a new outrage like every week. There's something else to be outraged about. I mean, justifiably as well as unjustifiably. And from my sense it seems to be growing to a numbness to a lot of people. And this is just anecdotal based off people I talk to. It's just to the point of, you know, you hear people say, you know, I don't like to watch the news because it's always something bad. And that has a ring of truth to it, but it also has the effect of you tuning things out, you turning away from things that are unpleasant because I don't want to hear about it. And that runs the gamut to all of the ills of our society to where it's racism, income inequality, you know, my personal journey for the uh, criminal justice system is just so much bad out there that people just don't want to hear about it anymore. And of course, that has the effect of 
there not being any change because few people want to get involved. You don't want to look at the ugliness of what's happening to someone else. It's okay. I'm just trying to protect my family. Um, that's sad that it happened over there, but what can I do? I need to take care of this. So I'm just don't want to hear about it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to look at it, know about it. I'm just going to put my blinders on and focus on this. And of course, I mean, I understand that. I'm sympathetic to it. You know, I'm focused on taking care of my daughter. But you have to have some kind of line to say this is no longer acceptable. We can't live in a world where this is happening. And whatever that causes for everybody, I think it's important to have something that you draw a line in to say, you know, I can't live in a world where this is allowed to happen. Um, so, I mean, that's the fear I have that, that I see of that apathy just growing. And because there's so many, many outrages, so many small ones, like I said, so many that are un like, there's no reason to be just outraged by that, but it's always something. It's a real outrage versus a fake outrage. And every week it's something else. And you just get tired of hearing about it. So you don't want to hear anything about it anymore. Like, I'm just going to focus on this fun thing that makes me happy, that just makes me better, and I don't want to know about all that. And I think it's getting pretty bad out there. Um, with that said, just a few thoughts I just want to put down. Um, I have a phone call tomorrow with the like a training campaign organization that I hope to go well. I'll be back with an update about that. So hopefully they can give me some pointers on what I should be doing first, second, and third either in addition to or opposed to what I'm already doing. Um, it continues to be a learning experience, but so far I'm still enjoying the learning aspect of it. You know, just all these things. I, I see why so few people do it. It is a lot of work. It's a lot of research, especially at this stage of it. It's all by myself. You know, I have friends who have committed to help me in these various roles, but you know, when things get real, they may say, oh, my bad, I don't have time for that. I got to be prepared for that. You know, it's perfectly understandable. It may happen. Um, but right now, just focus on what I need to do to get ready for it. I believe I have enough time. Um, trying to go to city, go for city council this June. Um, you know, get my feet wet, get experience, and hopefully next year, Maybe try to go for something better or just sit on the city council for a few years and just try my hand there. I don't know. I don't know. The only thing I know for sure is that I don't know what the future holds, but we are committed to keep moving forward little by little. All right. Thanks. We'll catch up later.